Hi guys, this is a routine to focus on really opening up the hips and lower back. This is great for runners or any post cardio workout. We'll warm up with a modified sun salutation and we'll go into some hip openers building to a modified split utilizing a block. Then we'll go on to open up the lower back and end with some leg stretches. So let's get started. Hello. Okay, we're going to get started here by standing at the top of our mat. So we focus on your breath. So as you breathe in, lift your arms up. And as you breathe out, roll over into a forward bend. And kind of sway back and forth. Really, really focus on your breath, releasing the tension. We're going to step back into a plank position. We make sure your body is nice and long here. And then we're going to bend down into a push-up. And then up as you breathe in into an upward dog. And then breathe out. You're going to pull back into a child's pose. Really stretching out your um, upper back. Stay here for a couple breaths. And we're going to push back into a downward dog. And we're going to hold this for a couple breaths. Really try and stretch out your upper back your heels towards the mat. Then we're going to walk up, meandering to the side and really releasing tension as you go. And do a forward bend. And then breathe in as you reach your arms up to the sky. And then breathe out as you go back into your forward bend. And now we're going to step our right leg back into a low lunge. Great opening up the hips and you can kind of move around forward and backward, maybe side to side, where we feel a little extra tension. Really focus on your breath, focus on releasing that tension. And fold back into a runner stretch. And reach your whole body down towards your leg. And then these are about how far you go, it's about releasing the tension and we open up our steps. So we're gonna move into a triangle forward bend. You can sway back and forth, release tension, maybe rock back and forth. Feel your hamstrings opening, feel your hips opening. And then go into a split and you can use a block if you can't go all the way down. So what you want to do is you want to put it under your ischial tuberosity, which is your sit bone. Wherever you can balance, and you're gonna you're gonna feel it at uh, the point of balance, and kind of look up, arch your back, and really focus on your breath. Um, you don't need a yoga block; you can use anything that you have. You can use a pillow. You can use a rolled up towel. Um, just really focus on your breath. Focus on releasing that tension. Uh, don't worry about going all the way down. You're getting a great stretch wherever you are. Now we're going to gently come out of that, so roll over to the side, move that block out of the way, and we're going to do the other side, so we're going to go back into our child's pose, take a breath here, back into downward dog, meander on up, really relaxing those hips, focus on your breath, forward bend, and then now we're going to do the other leg, so put your left leg back, do a low lunge, Rock back and forth, release that tension, side to side, whatever feels good to you. And now we're going to go back into a runner stretch, sit back on that heel, whole body forward bend over that leg, take a few nice deep breaths here. modified uh, we're gonna come into a triangle first. Stay in the triangle, lean over, and you rock back and forth, preparing for the split that we're about to do. And then now we're gonna go down to the split and have your block ready. You can put it put it under so you can focus on your breath. If you ever feel your breath getting too shallow or hard to breathe and kind of back out of it, you don't need to go far down. It's all about opening up. It's all about releasing tension. Focus on your breath. Breathe in and 
hold and then out and feel the tension release. And then gently come out of that. Move the block to the side again, out of the way. And come into a child's pose. And then into a downward dog. Meander on up. To a forward bend, and now we're going to do some lower back releases. So kind of hold your elbows and rock back and forth. Feel the tension releasing. And now we're going to do a forward bend and twist. So your uh, left knee bends and your right arm goes to the ceiling. And look up towards your right arm. And breathe. Always breathe. Now we're going to do the other side. So your right knee bends and your left arm goes up to the ceiling. back into a forward bend, and then come into a squat. So just lean forward, take a few breaths here, rock back and forth, release the tension from your hips. Now we're going to do a squat twist, so your left arm is pushing gently against your left knee, and your right hand is on top of your right knee. And look up, and then switch, so your left hand comes to your left knee, your right arm is gently on the inside, kind of gently pushing out on your right knee. And come back to a squat, we're going to get down and do some floor um, exercises, stretching. So these are really great for runners. So pull the right knee into your chest. Take a few easy breaths here. And put it to the side, so your right arm, left arm, right, drop the right knee and your right arm is out to the side and you're looking towards your right hand. Take a few easy breaths here. This is great for opening up your lower back. And now we're going to do the other side. So pull your left knee into your chest. Take a few easy breaths. And then your right arm brings that left knee over and your left arm look out towards your left hand. Take an easy breath here. You can make it uh, the stretch more intense by lifting your knee up towards your head or putting it down towards your feet to make it a little less intense. And stretch, whatever feels good to you. Pull your legs in and kind of rock back and forth. Open up your spine. And roll up. And we're gonna do a supported bridge with two blocks. And you don't need the blocks, you can use pillows, you can use whatever's comfortable. You're going to put the first one in the small of your back and the other one right under your head. And it might look a little funny, but it, I promise you it's a really great spine opening and it feels really good. You just want to focus on your breath, it's kind of a meditating pose, and feel all the tension release. Breathe in, make room, and breathe out, let all that tension release. This is great because it really supports your spine as you focus on your breath. Okay, now we're going to gently come out of that, and you don't want to pull up because you'll stress your spine again. So, over to the side, and we're going to do a little meditation. I like to always end with a little meditation and sitting. Focus, refocus on the breath and feel you know, the great stretching that you just did. So breathe in, really sit up straight and breathe out, feel the tension release in your whole body. And that's it. Great job guys. I'd love to know what you think or if you want anything different. And uh, bye!